everyone. Welcome to Costa Maya. We're gathered here to witness the amazing ritual of the Flyers of Papantla. Now they are going to go up the pole, which is 25 meters high. That is about 80 feet high. So while they are preparing everything up there, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the origins of this ritual. This ritual was born as a rain dance because there was a long period of drought, so they made this as an offer to their gods and to Mother Nature, because they were asking for the rain to fall down on Earth again. So they made this ceremony. The pole is originally made out of a tree. We have a permanent one here, but it is made out of a tree, and it includes a whole ceremony right before it, prayers and some offers before putting in the tree. So now they're wrapping the rope around the pole 13 times. 13 multiplied by the four dancers equals 52, which is the number of weeks in the Mayan calendar. After they finish, they will tie this rope around their waist and that will be the only security they'll have during the flight. They are not wearing any kind of harness. Flyers that we have here at Costa Maya, they are only between 16 and 24 years old. So before they jump, there is something that I always like to do, and I like saying hi to the guys up there. But I need everybody's help, so if everyone would help me, in the count of three, we're going to jump all up. But we need to do it very, very loud so they can hear us all the way up. Are you with me? One, two, three! You're gonna take video, this is the moment. see why they are called the flyers of Papantla. And being a rain dance, the flyers going down in this very stylish way represent the falling rain. The four flyers together represent the four natural elements, earth, wind, water and fire. They also represent the four seasons and the four cardinal points. So the number four, it is a very important number in the South East Mexican cultures. The pole, it is thought to be the fifth cardinal direction, which is a connection between the underworld and the sky. Please do not try this at home. You can see that they have little mirrors in their hats. And these mirrors represent and reflect the sun and the color ribbons represent the rainbow that comes after this rain.
In 2009, this ceremony was recognized by the UNESCO as an intangible cultural heritage. So it is a very important part of our culture here in Mexico, especially in the state of Veracruz. These young men need to be very, very brave to perform this ritual. So please give them a big applause.